all the lakes have gone yes. up. What, right. what, where, where are some of the biggest um, some increases? Some of the biggest increases. South Central Oklahoma, okay. Lake Texoma has been coming up. We've also had the lake levels out in western Oklahoma that were well below average, closer to normal. We'll definitely update you on those lake levels as we get into your Friday. And of course, you can always check them on the website there. Storm just mentioned it's going to be hot heading into the weekend. That's for sure. I think a lot of folks will be trying to find that body of water. Heat index value will go from the mid 90s tomorrow all the way above 100 as we head into your Sunday and we're quiet now no severe weather that will change tonight we'll have a chance for thunderstorms severe storms right now the timing of it looks like it will be out of the central portions of the state by rush hour this time, but we'll keep you updated. What's going to happen is a storm system sitting up now in the southern plains will spark thunderstorms in Colorado later today. Complex will make its way into the northwest and eventually into central Oklahoma, and we may have another complex that moves in from Kansas. So it'll be wild overnight tonight in parts of the state. Right now, a little light rain trying to move into northern Woods County. That's the only shower ongoing. It's 72 degrees currently. It's nice outside. Lower mid 70s, sunny skies, winds are light out of the east. A gorgeous day. Temperatures will warm into the low 80s, mostly sunny through the afternoon, and those southeast winds will stay light. Sun doesn't set now until 845. So this afternoon, warming into the 80s, the heat index a factor today, it'll feel like the mid 80s in the metro, and you'll need to add a couple of degrees to these different temperatures to really know what it's going to feel like after all the recent rains. Speaking of the big game, the Women's College World Series first pitch between OU and Texas is at 630 at Hall of Fame Stadium right here in Oklahoma City. So many thousands of folks heading to the game. It's going to be in the 80s. It looks gorgeous. Light winds. Temps try to fall into the upper 70s, depending on how long that game goes. And it does look like nothing really to slow you down weather-wise going to or from the game. Storm chances do go up overnight tonight, beginning in the northwest and then slipping down into central Oklahoma with complex number one. And we may have another storm complex come in from Kansas. Kansas and dive from the north to the south. Across the area, any storm that forms could produce quarter, maybe golf ball size hail, 60 to 75 mile per hour winds, and any additional rain could lead to some flash flooding. The latest on future next gen, now this will still change and evolve. The models never handle these overnight complexes perfectly, but this is a good estimation. This evening, storms are in the panhandle. Overnight tonight, here's midnight. These storms could produce wind and hail and some localized flooding approaching the metro just after midnight, moving out early in the morning down to the south. In the meantime, a complex tries to move in from Kansas that clips northeastern Oklahoma. So we've got to watch both of those. This evening, storm chances going up in the panhandle. And then tonight into tomorrow morning, it's a 40% chance of storms here in Oklahoma City. It's higher down to the south. And the same thing off into eastern Oklahoma as both of those waves move on in. Just like what we've had over the last couple of days, maybe nickel dime quarter size hail, and then a few of these storms pulse up and can produce some golf ball size hail. That's possible in the northeast as well as central and southwestern Oklahoma. The storms in the west also pose a risk for damaging winds, and we've seen a lot of damaging winds over the last couple of days. 65, maybe gusts as high as 75 miles per hour. Once again, our team of trackers will be out this evening, tonight, tomorrow morning. We will keep you updated and let you know exactly where they are and what threats they're posing. Tomorrow morning between about 6 and 10 a.m., everything shoves off towards the east, and we start to dry it out. Right now, it looks like we are dry for rush hour on your Friday. Overnight tonight, 60s and 70s. Tomorrow, highs back in the 80s and 90s. Stay tuned to the forecast. Cassie will have the latest at noon. Of course, David will have the latest this afternoon on the timing of everything for tonight and tomorrow. After that, a quiet, warm to hot pattern all the way through the start of next week. Guys, once the 90s get here, they are here all the way through next Friday. Back to you.